Hello everybody and welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be talking about the Clemson Tigers 2020 football schedule predictions. The Tigers are one of the most prestigious programs in all of college football led by head coach Davo Sweeney. They have much talent on both sides of the ball. This upcoming season, they're not losing too many players. They're going to get Travis Travis Etienne at the running back position back. They're going to get Trevor Lawrence, probably a Heisman contender at quarterback back as well. Their defense, besides losing Isaiah Simmons and Tanner Muse, it's going to be pretty good. And they have a great recruiting class coming in. So overall, the Tigers look like they're going to be a very good team next year. So I decided I would uh, predict their schedule. Already looking at it, you can see there's a lot of easy games, but there are also a couple of tough games, most notably on the road, where they could trip up. Um, so I'm going to get into it just a minute. Um, just so you guys know, I will be doing one of these for every preseason top 25 team. These are not based on my own rankings. They'll be based, um, I'll go in order by the top, by the uh, ESPN FBI. Um, the FBI already published their top 25 for the preseason. Clemson's one, Ohio State's two, uh, Oklahoma's actually three, uh, Bama's four, and then so on and so on. Uh, so I'll do it in that order from one to 25, and I'm starting with the Tigers here today. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to get right into it, waste absolutely no time, um, but yeah, let's do it. Uh, number one, uh, at Georgia Tech. So they start out the uh, year at Georgia Tech. They actually start out the year home Georgia Tech last year in week one. I believe this is a weekday game. It's not on a Saturday. Uh, it, like I said, it's an away game. Um, I don't see, though, Georgia Tech um, pulling off any kind of upset, even though it's on the road for Clemson. Clemson's just very talented. Uh, Georgia Tech, I believe, has a good recruiting class, but uh, so does Clemson, obviously. And um, overall, Clemson has just too much talent on both sides of the ball. Uh, this one won't be a challenge. Georgia Tech's one of the worst teams in the ACC. Uh, so I have the Tigers winning this one pretty easily. Uh, number two, Louisville. Uh, so this is a Saturday game. Louisville last season had a big improvement. One of the big improvements in all of the, uh, FBF, FBS, if not the best improvement in all of the FBS. Uh, obviously they were 2-10 and ten the year before, and this past season they went 8-5, and five, I believe. 7-5 and five overall in the regular season, and they won their bowl game against Mississippi State. So Louisville is definitely on the rise. I think they'll be the second best team in their division just behind Clemson next year. But at the end of the day, it's a home game. Um, I don't see, uh... Clemson's offense or defense stumbling here. I think they win this one easily. It's it's just at home. Clemson's too talented. Number three, Akron. Uh, I'm not. You know, I don't really need to talk about this one too much. Akron was the worst team in all of the FBS yet last year. They went 0 and 12. They're a MAC team too, and they're which means their schedule is very easy, and they still had plenty of trouble. So I really don't need to talk over this one. Um, when you're comparing the number one team in the FBI to the worst team in all of college football, obviously it's not a very hard matchup to choose from. I have Akron winning. Number four, Virginia. So this one's interesting. Another Saturday game here. Uh, Virginia faced Clemson in the ACC championship game last year. If you remember, it was not a good game whatsoever. Clemson absolutely dominated. I expect the same this upcoming year. Again, they just have most of that talent coming back. Great defense and great offense. Uh, so, you know, great pass attack, great run game for Clemson. They'll, they'll be Virginia. I don't think it'll be much of a challenge. You really look at their whole home schedule. It doesn't look that hard. At Boston College. All right, so this one might be a little interesting. Might be a little bit interesting. I might actually be going to this game. I'm a little bit of a Boston College fan myself. Um, I believe it's on a Friday night. Um, I might be wrong, but I believe it is on a Friday night. Listen, Boston College, they've got a great coaching staff over there now. Um, Halfley came in from Ohio State. He was the previous defensive coordinator there, and he brought some other assistants along with him. That's great. That is great. But at the end of the day, Boston College is losing a lot of its talent, like A.J. Dillon. He's going to be gone. I just don't see Boston College in any way pulling off this upset. I think Clemson's just a superior team. I would love for the Eagles to win, but it's just not going to happen. So I have Clemson winning this one. At Florida State, 
This should be a little bit interesting. The, Mike Norvell obviously is coming to Florida State. He was at Memphis this past season, head coach there. He did fantastic, led Memphis to a New Year's Six Bowl. Um, he coached one game with Florida State this past season. Obviously, it was their bowl game. They got absolutely destroyed against Arizona State, I believe, in like the Sun Bowl. Um, you know, this upcoming season, I really can't see them do any worse, though, than this past season. I mean, you know, they, they did 6-6 six and six, that Florida State usually does a lot better. Um, so I think they'll do better. It is a home game for Florida State. Um, so they could make it a little bit entertaining um, with a new coach and stuff like that. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm still going to take Clemson maybe by like a couple touchdowns, something like that. But Florida State, that could definitely be a trap game considering it's on the road for Clemson. Uh, Florida State is a pretty good coach. I think Florida State overall probably like an 8-win team next season, something like that. Number 7, North Carolina State. This one will be very easy for Clemson. North Carolina State's one of the worst teams in the ACC. Kind of a rival of Clemson, I think. Uh, but this should not be close, so I'll take Clemson any day. Syracuse. I'm also actually a little bit of a Syracuse fan besides Boston College. Um, I, like I said with Boston College, um, I don't think Syracuse would challenge Clemson. Although Syracuse in the past has given Clemson a hard time. A few years ago, they beat Clemson, and two years ago, they made it close. So, you know, they can maybe give them a challenge, but it's a home game for Clemson. At the end of the day, Clemson's a lot more talented. Uh, Syracuse severely uh, regressed this past season. I mean, they were a ranked team the year before that, and this year they were terrible. Uh, one of the worst teams in the ACC. Uh, so I don't know what happened. I was expecting them to be a top 25 team this past season, but that didn't happen. Uh, you know, so we'll see how it goes for Syracuse. Uh, but you know, it's a home game for Clemson. I'm taking the Tigers. Number nine, nine, the bye week. That's a perfect time to have the bye week late in the season and right before your hardest game of the year. Perfect time to have the bye week. Um, number 10, obviously Notre Dame. This is the hardest game of the season. This is going to be the big game. It's in a way game. It takes place on like an, it's another Saturday game. It's going to be tough. I think it's going to be a prime time game. I imagine it's on NBC. Uh, it's going to be an interesting week that week because LSU and Alabama, I believe, play on the same day. They might be playing at the exact same time um, because I imagine LSU and Alabama in Death Valley will be a night game as well. Uh, so this will be interesting to see who game day goes to. That will be something to see. Um, but anyway, back to the game part of it. You look at Notre Dame. Um, they're losing some guys on offense like Chase Claypool and Cole Komet. Uh, their schedule before Clemson's not that hard, so they could very well come into this game as a one-loss team or an undefeated team. And it is a home game for Notre Dame, so that helps. But at the end of the day, Clemson's just a lot more talented, especially on the defense. And Notre Dame is losing some guys on offense. Uh, so I'll, t I'll take Clemson here um, by probably like 14 points. And it is a rematch of that playoff semifinal game we saw a couple weeks ago. Um, where Clemson, I I'm, a couple years ago, sorry. Where uh, Clemson absolutely destroy Notre Dame was not even close um in that cotton ball game uh but this one I think you know might be a little bit closer but I still have Clemson winning next game up the Citadel another easy game for Clemson so you, they usually play in an FCS squad every single year this will be it you know the Citadel um I think they beat Georgia Tech this past season this past season so that was great and uh you know they they challenged Alabama a couple of years ago they were tied at 10 at halftime uh so the Citadel has had some great moments they've actually beaten South Carolina's South Carolina a couple times as well Clemson's rival um so I'm sure Clemson like that um you know this time around, you know, I just don't see it. I, I cannot imagine that Clemson loses to the Citadel. It's just, it's, it's not going to happen. You know, it's a home game for Clemson. If it's an away game for Clemson, I would still have Clemson by like 40. Uh, but this one will be, this one will be easy for Clemson. So I have them winning this one. At Wake Forest. So Wake Forest this past season, they looked very good at the start of the year. I think they started like 5-0, and maybe 6-0. and They were very good. And then towards the end of the season, they just had a huge slump. Uh... Their last game of the year, they lost to Syracuse. They lost to a lot of bad teams late in the season. Obviously, they got blown out by Clemson. It wasn't even close. So it looked at the start like they may have 
been a good football team, but then towards the end of the season, they weren't very good. Um, this could be a challenging one, but at the end of the day, Wake Forest is losing Jamie Newman to Georgia through the transfer portal. That, I think, might hurt them. Uh, I'm going to take Clemson anyway. Just they're just, Again, just more talented. Way, just a huge talent gap. So I'll, I'll take Clemson here. Um, and South Carolina. Um, I'm sure Clemson fans will be looking at this rival game. I don't think... South Carolina has what it takes to beat Clemson. I don't think Muschamp there is going to ever beat Clemson or is going to be ever just beat Clemson and anytime soon. Um, so, you know, I, I have Clemson winning by quite a few scores. We saw them last year. They absolutely blew the doors off of South Carolina. I think they do it again. It's a home game. It'll be easy for them. Uh, so I have Clemson winning this one. So overall, Clemson, I have going 12-0. and um, Yeah, that is it for now, guys. And I probably will upload an Ohio State video schedule prediction as well. Their schedule is a little bit more interesting. They have a couple of tougher games. Uh, but please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, but that is it for now, guys. Thank you for joining in.